Mark, welcome. Thank you. You were born in Marrakesh, Morocco. You came to the United States, I think you, you were seven years old. I'm pretty seven. sure. Yeah. I don't think you spoke English. Nope, not a word. You go, you, you study history at Clark University. Your career, I mean, it just very quickly takes you into the world of bankruptcy, which, I mean, Mark, people, people tend to like fear bankruptcy. They, they, they tend to run away from it and not, and not into it, speaking generally. How, how, how does it become, how did it become a, a calling? I thought I was going to be a physics professor. So I loved physics. I was actually pretty good with numbers. Um, my mother, however, thought I should be a lawyer or a doctor. I don't know if people have gone through this where you explain to your mother it's your life and your mother explains to you it's not. Your life begins when she tells you it does. <laughs> so um, I went to law school. When I was in law school, I had done exceptionally well. I had the highest grade in corporate law. My teacher recommended me to his best friend who was the chief bankruptcy judge. So I clerked for the chief bankruptcy judge, found it fascinating. I could do the numbers pretty quickly. And when I got out of law school, went to work for a bankruptcy law firm. And then from there, just kept on getting involved on the investment side. Speaking of the law, after three of Donald Trump's uh, Atlantic City casinos went bankrupt, he basically switched sides in, in the fight over Trump Entertainment Resorts so that he could team up with you. You, you were against him, and then he was like, let me get on this guy's side. I'm curious what you learned about him that can help explain how his political career has survived, you know, survived four sets of criminal charges now. You know, I, who knows what's gonna happen, but so far he's thriving despite everything. Did you learn anything about him when you were working with him that, that helps explain him to you? Here we were, we put his company in bankruptcy his view was, that's fine. We're going to be partners. We're going to make this work. It, <clears throat> most people would get upset that you put their company in bankruptcy. And I'm not saying he wasn't upset. He was. So um, I think I got to know Donald pretty well um, and was amazed at his ability to just constantly be moving forward. So I, I tried to pick what I imagined to be the most stressful moment of your career, and I wanted to ask you about it. So there's, yeah. there's a single week in 2021 where two of the companies you were invested in, like basically on the same day, faced like this in incredible amount of stress that would have freaked me out. There's a, there's a media company, speaking of media, Ozzy, where I think you were chairman. It basically began shutting down uh, in 2021. There's a scandal that's led to fraud charges. It was, it was a mess. Uh, and then practically at the same moment, there's Amplify Energy, where Avenue was, I think, the, the top shareholder. Had a pipeline, at least like 25,000 gallons um, into the Pacific. You're such a calm guy. Like, I'm, I'm just wondering like, how, how, how that moment felt. You're always going to have situations that don't work out, right? If you invest, any investor will, if he's really, really good, will be right seven out of ten times. So you've got to deal with it, and you deal with it in the best way you can, and you try to always do the right thing, and then tomorrow comes and there's going to be another problem. So I, I assume I'd love every day to be stress-free and not to have any issues, but that's not the way things are. You've got to deal with it and you deal with it the best you can and in the right way. Um, and then you move on. You bought the Bucks, the Milwaukee Bucks in 2014. Uh, they had just had, I think the worst season in their history, and I think the worst record in the league. And they go on to win, as under your co-ownership, I think five division titles in a row. They win the 2021 championship. They did. This year you agreed to sell your stake. It made me wonder if investing is like, if it's less fun or if it's, if it's less exciting for you after distress turns into success. No, I don't think so. I think it's, I think what everybody loves is a challenge, right? To me, the challenge of the Bucks was the time we bought it, they were the best, they were the worst team. We turned it into the best team. For me, I thought accomplished what I wanted to accomplish, which is um, end up taking something that was very bad, turning it into something that was very good winning an NBA championship. And at that point, you know, the value of the team had appreciated so much 
uh, thought it also made sense to sell because it turned out to be a great investment and to move on and do other things and try other things. You founded Avenue with one of your sisters, yes. Sonia, mm -hmm. and your other sister, I think Ruth, yep. has worked with you for years, years and yes. years. What have you learned about sisters, or uh, you know, so we can make it siblings, so that those relationships have survived over a very long time now? Yeah, it's, um, I don't really think it's complicated. Like, I grew up, I shared a room with my two sisters for about 10 years before I went to college. During that time period, you will either get along really well or utterly despise your siblings because you don't want to share. You're fighting or whatever it is. For us, we got along really well. So because of that, we have a base and a foundation where we love working together, but we actually love being with each other. And I think that's a lot of things with siblings. Like, you and I both know siblings that are super close and that hardly talk. So if you are with a sibling where you don't talk, kind of hard to be partners. If you're with a sibling where you get along exceptionally well, that's very easy. And I think for Sonia and I, um, we've known each other a long time, um, obviously. We've, we get along exceptionally well. And she's my partner. And because of that, um, we have a phenomenal partnership. Mark, so glad you were here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Pleasure. Truly enjoyed it. Watch the Business Week show Thursday nights, 1030 Eastern on Bloomberg Television or 830 on Bloomberg.com or the Bloomberg app on connected TVs.